clear. I'm gonna look for a good spot. It's beautiful here. Look at this, how beautiful this place is. Water so clear. Well, the reason I want to go fishing today is because today is a better day of fishing than tomorrow. Never leave anything for tomorrow because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. There's not a lot of lobsters in this area because the season opened months ago. So a lot of people been getting the lobsters already. I'm a little wet from diving, just a little humid. And the air conditioner is hitting me really cold here. And it feels really good. It's drying me up and it feels very cold and outside it's got to be at least 97 or 96 degrees it's got to be real hot yeah you see how calm the ocean is that's why i have to take advantage today to go fishing because tomorrow we don't know how it's going to be That is Cat Cave right over there. I'm gonna go fishing past Cat Cave. That's why I came now because there's three days that it's supposed to be like this. And you can hardly get three days like this. That's why I don't believe it until I see it. But today, definitely, the ocean is really calm. Alright, almost here. Half a mile. Alright, we're here. And I'm going to be using my magnet to see if the magnet repels the shark. So that's going to be my test here. There's a lot of shark here. Last time I was here, I'm catching some fish because of the sharks. I'm going to try my magnet first. Okay, I'm going to put a camera, a GoPro. It's not going to do anything. Because the GoPro... Um, it's not going to be pointing. It's not like a bullet camera. Okay, so here's the magnet and here's the weight. That casing for the camera, the GoPro, it's only rated, I think, for 50 feet. So I'm gonna put it 300 feet. Let's see what happens.
I don't know if the camera is spooking the fish. So I'm gonna take the camera out. I took the camera out because I think the camera um, makes a little bit of noise on the water. I think that's why the fish was not biting. Yeah, I took out the camera. I think the camera was spooking the fish. And I moved up to 140 feet. There's some strawberry grouper here. Beautiful strawberry grouper. Look at all those fish. I got hit real good here, but there's a shark right there floating around. Look at those fish. There it is. There it is. That's a shark right there. See, there's a lot of sharks here. Right now, the fish is not biting. It is about 1.30. Fishing stops around that time and comes back up at 3 o'clock because the fishing stops uh, between 12 to 3. From my experience, after 3 o'clock, it starts biting again. But if you see here, there's sharks here on the top of the water here, waiting for your fish to come up so it can eat it. Yep, it's three o'clock already, and that's when the fish stop biting again. So I had almost three hours of nothing. Oh, look at that! Wow, a tile fish. Beautiful tile fish. About 15 inches. That's a keeper. Okay, I got a good fish here. And I already saw several barracudas around already. I think I lost it already. Yep, it was a big fish. I'm going to throw it down there again. It's a big fish. Hopefully it'll bite again. Today was the towel fish and a strawberry grouper. The fishing today is not that great. I'll try back tomorrow. There's that rock there and the other side is kind of shallow. Um, I'm going to see if that's a good anchorage to stay. Because tomorrow, I want to fish this area. This is a very good area here to fish. Before I got
got here, I looked at the um, satellite view and it looks pretty nice back behind that rock there. There's protections from the swells on this side and that protection. It looks like today it's going to be very, very calm. So I think it's going to be just like this overnight. Uh, the ocean is going to be very calm too. So it's not going to be any movement here. I'm going to take a shower and start on dinner because I'm very hungry. Tonight's dinner, I'm going to make some garlic Lobster, uh, some mushrooms, and some potatoes. Some mushrooms. Butter. This one got shot right there on the side there. Wash this outside. Alright, look at the beautiful lobsters. I love mushrooms. Doesn't matter what I cook them with. Alright, so it's gonna be potatoes, lobsters, and uh, garlic butter. Alright, first I'm going to start cooking the uh, potatoes I'm gonna put the potatoes for about 10 minutes and then I'll put the rest Look at that beautiful meat. 
Okay, so the lobster is already clean and uh, ready to be cooked. I'm just gonna cut the garlic really thin so that way I can get the most flavor out of it. That thin. I'll put some butter in here. Now I'm going to put the uh, garlic. Oh, it smells good already. Put the potatoes in there for about 10 15 minutes. I'm gonna take some of the garlic out. So that way when I cook the lobster, I also have some garlic for it. That butter already has the flavor. All right, now I'm gonna put the mushrooms. All right, so now I'm gonna flip those potatoes so they cook on the other side. And they also have garlic flavor here. Now I'm gonna cook the uh, lobsters. Alright, put this garlic in there, get that butter flavor up again with garlic. And I'm going to put some salt on the butter. And now I'm going to put the uh, lobsters there. I'm going to flip them to the other side so they can also get cooked on the other side. Done. All right, so this is my meal. Let's try this up, see how it is. Beautiful. Mm, awesome flavor. I didn't overcook it, it's just done perfect. And the potatoes are really soft too. I didn't know what kind of meal I was going to do, so I just thought about using the potatoes, the mushrooms. Okay, there's nobody in sight. There's an island way over there, that's a cruise line. That's way over there, that's Cat Key. And here is my island right here. Sunset is about to uh, fall in about 45 minutes. This is my first time staying here. One thing, I saw this nice K here, but the wind is, is dead for the whole night it looks like so when you get waves from over here this is not a comfortable place to be but 
when the wind is very calm this is a good anchorage here but the reason I stay here is because tomorrow I'm planning to go fishing more towards Cuba that way it's not Cuba I'm not going to fish Cuba but it's towards Cuba that way so that way I don't burn fuel I don't have a lot of fuel to burn so right now I have 31 gallons out of 90 I need to have at least 35 to 40 to make it home so I gotta think where am I gonna sleep at night uh, that way I don't move around unnecessary because today I was fishing towards this area here tomorrow fishing over there honeymoon harbor is way over there so why go sleep at honeymoon harbor and then come back here again it's just burn fuel it's gonna cost me at least $50 in fuel just to get back here so just stay here enjoy this anchorage here and tomorrow go fishing and the good thing is that there's cell phone range here so you can call your family members from this cave with no problem look at this water look at this this is like a parking lot look at this beautiful so you can see my anchor right over there right there you can see my anchor You can see my chain right there. Look at that, a trigger fish right there. Look at this, right there, he's eating. Oh, he's eating the lobster head that I threw there. That's what he came for. He came for the lobster head. That, now that I look at it, that's what he's eating, the lobster head. I have never seen this place like this. Look at that. It's just, you can't even see where the ocean starts and the sky starts. Look at that. And this right here is about six feet, seven feet. And the tide is going to drop like 2.5 feet. So this is going to become like almost four foot and a half tonight when the tide goes down. That's why I anchor a little bit of ways from the K, because I don't want to hit bottom. He's digging inside the head of the lobster. I said nice falling. You can see a boat. Oh, a yacht. Right through the that little opening there. You can see a yacht on the other side or a fishing boat.
so tomorrow I'll try to do some fishing today was not successful nobody was catching nothing around there were boats around me that were catching nothing it's just one of those days when the water's too calm I guess the fish are not active so maybe tomorrow we'll give it a try tomorrow But tonight I'm gonna sleep very good because there's nothing to do. Just watch some TV or a movie, but that's it. Last night I only slept um, one hour, but I was not expecting to eat lobster today. Very hard to get lobster sometimes. Alright guys, I'm going to take a little break now and I'll continue this trip.